2020 has been a tough year for everyone, and it's going to be a very different holiday season. Many of us won't be spending as much time with family or friends, and we will be spending more time at home. Yeah, Maya Goslin from Sip Wine Education joins us tonight with a few suggestions for wines to enjoy at home. So we'll start off with sparkling wine. I definitely think we should up our bubbles game this month. The Ferrari Brut is an Italian sparkling wine. Um, this is from Trento, which is in Trentino Alto Adige, which is up in um, Northern Italy. This wine region was actually just named wine region of the year by, by from wine enthusiasts at Trentino was. This is 100% Chardonnay, known as a Blanc de Blanc, made in the same style as a Champagne. In fact, that was the intention of the original winemaker was to create an Italian sparkling wine that was on a par with true Champagne. This is beautiful. So in there you get some golden baked apples, some pear, a little bit of biscuit, and some baking spices. This is just perfect with, it's very iconic, it's very elegant. Um, it will go with a range of foods. I always say drink your sparkling wine with whatever um, you prefer. Um, don't worry about having it with the finest meals. If you like it with um, fried chicken, have it with that. If you like it with caviar and pate, have it with that. The price point on this is about $25 for the full bottle. It also comes in this nice half size, so um, give one as a gift, keep one for yourself. Moving over here to this delightful sparkling rosé. This is 100% Gamay. This is the Bouget Cerdon from Lingat Martin Winery uh, in Savoy. 100% Gamay means this is gonna have a lot of bright red and black fruit notes to it. That has a lot of acidity. So again, pretty much all those fun, yummy, delicious, indulgent foods in December that we're prone to having, uh, this is an easy match with. It's also just straight up delicious on its own. But I would definitely think appetizers to desserts. Um, this is a nice pairing as well as, because there's a nice cranberry note in here, it would go nicely with turkey. Uh, and the price on this is 22 to 25 also. So both um, selections there are under 30. Shifting over to a white, I have a Viognier uh, from Yulumba, the Y series. This is from South Australia. And this family has been making uh, wine in this area since 1849. So the Viognier um, tends to be, it's a very aromatic wine. You get more exotic notes in that. Mm. Pineapple, mango along with some nectarine and apricot. Uh, this pairs beautifully with spicier dishes. So maybe if you like to have Chinese food, um, spicy Chinese food or Thai for your day after Christmas meal, this is a beautiful pairing. Also uh, a roast chicken with an apricot glaze, chicken curry, it's delicious. And this is in the 13, $14 price range. So very affordable, um, nice with your, your meal, easy to sip um, on your own and also a nice gift. For our beautiful red, I have the Trefethen um, Cabernet Sauvignon from the Oak Knoll District in Napa. This is a stunner of a cab, straight up. Um, it's got all those classic, classic Cabernet Sauvignon elegant notes. There's the black fruit, there's the cedar, there's um, the, the vanilla in this one. This is truly something to serve with a just a beautiful Red meat, a filet mignon, which has lots of black pepper notes too. You definitely want some nice spice in there. Also a roast lamb that would have some thyme, um, would be a, a, just a sort of sublime pairing for this. Mm. There's a little bit of smokiness as well. Um, this is definitely a wine to appreciate um, uh, if you can give it away. <laughs> More credit to you. <laughs> I might be inclined to keep it for myself. Um, and this is in the 52 to $55, um, but in 20, 2017 vintage and well worth it, in my opinion. And we'll finish off with uh, the Van Glug. Um, this is a very fun wine. Uh, this is actually um, from the Glunz family. This is California, but it's in the tradition of the Scandinavian Glug. So this is half red wine, um, half port, a little bit of cardamom, cinnamon, and some orange peel in there. I like this warm, so I put it into a thicker glass. I had warmed this up a little earlier. So you get all those beautiful mold spice notes. This is just heavenly on a really cold winter's night by the fire. Mm. It's winter in a glass, a winter warmer right there. And that's usually 12 or $13 as well. Um, and then, so any of these I think would be just, just any or all would be fantastic wines uh, to round out what has been a very long, <laughs> and strange year, I think. And I'm going to show you what perhaps might be um, at my house on New Year's Eve 
Some of us get nice, beautiful, this is a Jeroboam of the Ferrari Brute. So this, um, probably not by myself, but <laughs> it's a, certainly a treat, a beautiful gift, um, which I am incredibly appreciative of. So uh, that should do it for this wine segment. Happy holidays to everyone, happy new year, and um, best wishes for a fantastic 2021. Best wishes to you, Maya. And after today's drive, Peggy, I will take all of them. For I, like, I like her suggestion to up our bubble game. Yes, I'm in. <laughs>